And now, just like every end of the week, we're going to enjoy the story of Israeli wineries with ILTV's Wine of the Week. And for this week's wine pick, we're focusing on the Balkan Winery. Balkan Winery, one of Israel's best-known wineries, was established at the end of the 19th century. Situated in Kibbutz Hulda, halfway between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, the winery owns over 2,200 acres of vineyards, from the Galilee in the north to Mitzpah Ramon in the south and stretching to the Jerusalem mountains and the Yuda plains, and boasts one of the most advanced production technologies for winemaking in the world. The winery currently produces over 10 million bottles annually and has won countless medals and awards both in Israel and internationally. And joining us now with more is Ido Levinson, Balkan Winery's head winemaker. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what is this week's Wine of the Week? I mean, you picked a very special week. We just celebrated Independence Day. Yes. So what have well, you Well, this is part of our uh, Altitude series where we, where we examine uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from different altitudes because you know probably that the uh, altitude plays a major role in the quality of Israeli wines. The Israeli terroir, the land of Israel, the soil and climate are influenced by the um, different factors than the US for example where the ocean brings uh, a breeze that is quite uh, dominant in Israel where we want and when we want to produce uh, the best quality we often make those wines from the uh, higher elevations. So cooler climate is more beneficial and unlike some places like the US, South Africa, Australia and elsewhere where those vineyards are, are often next to the oceans, the Mediterranean Sea is not quite cold enough. So we are talking about elevations. This one is called 624 which is 624 meters. That's the altitude of this Cabernet Sauvignon vineyard. Incredible. And what more can you tell us uh, about the winery and about the process of making your wines? Well, um, in that series, we have two other wines, 720 and 585. So we try to make the same process for three different single vineyards from three different altitudes. Of course, the soils are slightly different, but we're talking, I didn't say that, we're talking about the Upper Galilee. So we are roughly in the same area, we're trying to do the same thing, the same process, the same barrel aging, and let the consumer uh, spot the difference in styles and qualities between those three uh, different uh, vineyards and three different wines. And you know, what does it mean when you say that you have one of the most uh, advanced production technologies in the world? Can you maybe break it down for us? Well, you know, uh, we're talking about a very ancient, uh, uh, you know, profession like making wine is, has been here forever, for thousands of years. We're trying to respect that tradition, but we're trying to uh, introduce some new technologies. For example, optical sorting. In optical sorting, we sort out the um, bad grapes, those that are slightly underripe, overripe or maybe uh, um, damage due to uh, insects or, or, or fungal attacks. Mm -hmm. We just want to have the most perfect grapes, the most perfect berries, and we do that with optical sorting. And what I didn't tell you earlier is that I chose this wine over the two other vineyards because this recently, 624 from vintage 2019, and we talked about Independent State. So every year there's a big annual tasting in Israel uh, of a magazine called Wine and Gourmet and this just won first place. So uh, I wanted you to uh, to get to know this this particular one. Absolutely. And you know you mentioned um, the winery which really is a very well-known winery here in Israel but you also have a, quite a very interesting story. I understand that you are a master of wine yourself which I think only two masters of wine in Israel and only about 400 in the entire world, so maybe you can tell us yes. uh, a little bit about that. Uh, there are f currently 418 MWs, Masters of Wine, and in Israel uh, there are just two, and uh, I'm very honored to be uh, part of that very uh, uh, restricted uh, group of people uh, from Israel and abroad. And um, yeah, this is, this is another sign of us, um, um, of the wine industry, of the Israeli wine industry. 
Uh, we want to show the world what we, we have, and we have a very interesting terroir from the Upper Galilee to the Jerusalem area, what we call Judean Hills, mm -hmm. and a wine like this from the Upper Galilee. So, yes, that's uh, a big honor. Right. Ido Lavinson, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to speak with us and sharing the wine of the week. Thank you very much.